Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sharif Al Gamal, and uh, within this video, we'll be learning about supports and reactions. So the first support we'll learn about it, it's the ruler supports. Then we'll move to uh, smooth spin connected coolers. Then we'll go to smooth contacted surfaces, pin supports, and sliders and fixed connected coolers. And then we'll uh, finalize with the fixed supports. Let's uh, start by the first one, which is the ruler supports. For the ruler supports, it allows for uh, movement parallel to the supporting surface. So if it moves in this direction here, and therefore there will not be any horizontal reaction. It can move freely, so no reaction parallel to the supporting surface. Also, it can rotate about the z-axis. So if it rotates, in this case, there is no moment. So for the ruler support, no moment, no horizontal reaction. And therefore, the only unknown here, it will be a vertical reaction that called FY in this case. For the ruler supports, you may have them in different shapes. This is called rocker support, and these are ruler supports. For all of them, because the horizontal, the supporting surface is horizontal, so the reaction will be perpendicular to the supporting surface, and in this case, it will be a vertical force or a vertical reaction. If the supporting surface is not exactly horizontal, as in this case, so here it is inclined, so the reaction will be perpendicular to the supporting surface. Here also it will be perpendicular to the supporting surface. If you have a ruler support, which is the surface is vertical, so the reaction in this case will be a horizontal reaction. So keep in mind that it is only one unknown force, and this unknown force is always perpendicular to the supporting uh, surface. Similar to the ruler support, we have something called smooth spin connected cooler. This is a smooth spin connected coolers. You can see here, because it is a smooth cooler, it can move in the horizontal direction. Therefore, there is no reaction in the horizontal direction. It can rotate about the spin, so no moment. Therefore, again, you will have only one reaction, one unknown, which will be vertical in this case, and it is perpendicular to this uh, element here, which uh, the cooler can slide. So it will be perpendicular on the base uh, element, in, uh, which is horizontal in this case. So again, it will be similar to the ruler support, only one unknown, and it is FY in this case. Also, you may have a smooth contacted surface. What is the smooth contacted surface? When the element is supported on a smooth surface. So if this surface is a smooth, it will allow for horizontal movement here. It will allow for rotation about this end. So again, we will have only one unknown, which it will be the vertical reaction, which is the force Fy in this case. And again, it is similar to the uh, ruler support where we have only one reaction but particular to the supporting surface. After finishing all of these supports, we'll move to the bin supports. For the bin supports, uh, the bin supports allows only for rotation about this bin. So it allows for rotation. Therefore, there is no moment, but it's not allowing for vertical or horizontal uh, displacement. And in this case, you will have two unknowns. Vertical reaction, it's called Fy. Horizontal reaction is called Sfx. So two unknown forces, and there is no moment. So whenever you have an end bin support, you know that the moment here equal to zero, similar to the case of the ruler support. But in the bin support, we have two unknowns. However, in the ruler support, we have only one unknown. For the pin support, it looks like that in a real steel structure. And this is showing a, a, a real pin support in one of the bridges, where in all of these cases, we have two unknown forces, Fx and Fy. Therefore, for the pin supports, we have two unknowns, Fx and Fy, and there is no moment, the moment equal to zero. Keep in mind here for the pin support, you can calculate the reactions 
horizontal and vertical. And also you can get them at any other perpendicular direction. So you can get a force here and you can get the force in perpendicular to the element and parallel to the element. It's up to you. You can get the components in any two perpendicular directions as you prefer. But usually we get them as Fx and Fy. In some problems, it will be easier to get them parallel to the element and perpendicular to the element to help you to draw the shear and draw the moment. For the pin support, also similar to the pin support, we have sometimes something called pin connected joint, or we call it intermediate hinge. When you have this intermediate hinge connecting two elements, therefore, these two elements can rotate about this joint, okay? And therefore, there is no moment on this intermediate hinge. So whenever you have intermediate hinge, you know directly that there is no moment as intermediate hinge. And this helps us to get the, calculate the reactions by taking the moment for one side of the structure and say it equals to zero and it helps us to get other reactions. We will see this in coming videos. So in this intermediate hinge, you know that we have two forces. So X force and Y force. And in the other side also, you will have the same two forces, but in the opposite direction. So you have an X going to the right. Here the X will be going to the left with the same value. And the Y going upward, the Y here will be similar to this Y, but going down uh, word. So two unknown forces at the intermediate hinge and they are opposite to each other. Also, we have something called the slider and fixed connected coolers. This is showing the slider and the fixed connected cooler. For these two uh, supports, both of them, they allow for vertical displacement. Therefore, there is no reaction in the vertical direction because it allows for displacement. When it allows for displacement, it means there is no reaction, but it's not allowing for horizontal displacement. Therefore, I have a force in the X direction as not allowing for rotation and about the Z axis. And therefore we have moment. So in the case of a slider or fixed connected cooler, we have two unknowns, but they are not similar to the pin support. In the pin support, we have two unknown forces, but here we have one unknown force and we have one unknown moment. So two unknowns, one force and one moment in the slider or fixed connected coolers. And the last type of support that you can see in structures, it will be the fixed support. The fixed support is not allowing for any displacement or any rotation. So therefore, in this case, we have forces Fx and Fy, and also we have moments. So whenever you have a fixed support, you know that you have three unknowns and we have to get all the three unknowns to be able to analyze the structure, draw the shear and moment and design the structure. This is showing the fixed support and how to draw it in the free body diagram. And these are the three uh, unknowns, Fx and Fy and the moment. Just to conclude uh, this video, we have ruler support and similar to the ruler support, we have other supports. And uh, all of them are, we have only one unknown, it's called Fy in this case, and it is always perpendicular to the supporting. So this is a supporting surface, so the force will be perpendicular to that uh, surface and will be only one unknown. In a case of a pen support, we have two unknowns, two force unknowns, Fx and Fy, and in the case of the fixed support, we have three unknowns, Fx and Fy, and we have moments. This will be the end of our video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click on like, subscribe, and click the bell, uh, and see you in coming videos where we will use uh, this information to uh, uh, determine or to get the reaction and then draw the shear and the moment in different structure. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in a coming video and good